Hello and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade. Well, it's time for another movie to game license. And this is probably one of the most notorious for so many reasons. From the background music being used in so, so many games and parodies, all the way through Serve to the, the movie license to itself, the first class on. material for the gaming world. There aren't many movies you can think of during the 80s and the 90s that were so ripe and ready to be turned into a computer game. This was a robot that was patrolling robot the streets up. of America with a gun shooting bad guys. That describes, I would say, 60% of all the computer games I ever played as a kid. And then some sod turned it into a movie. Now, this arcade game, the first time I came across it, was actually quite late um, into uh, the 90s. It was at the back of an arcade, it had been largely ignored. And that's because in the UK, this didn't do as well as it did in America. It was still a popular arcade and it did spawn sequel arcade machines as well as the Robocop license becoming other games. But in this country, the Robocop arcade, because it never really took off, not a lot of places bought it, which is really strange when you think about it, because um, Robocop is a pretty well-known brand. As far as movies, the TV show, the direct-to-DVD movies, the cartoons, the comics, uh, there were so many different variants of this, the Robocop license being used in all these different genres. Now, the game Robocop the Arcade actually got ported to numerous systems, and I'll come back to that later on. But the game itself, when it did hit the UK later than most other countries, it kind of splished. Nothing incredible. But over the years, I've seen Robocop 1 and Robocop 2 arcade machines everywhere. I think there were, I actually think a large number of these arcade machines arrived here and they largely got ignored. But and it's one of those arcade machines you find everywhere. Another example of an arcade machine I never saw as a kid, and now I see often at um, arcade um, amusement parks and stuff in the back, right there at the back, tucked away. Do you know there's a Sonic the Hedgehog arcade machine? And I will feature that on this channel eventually. But for now, let's focus on Robocop the arcade game. Let's get some credits inside this and get this game going. Again, it loosely, loosely follows the plot of the movie. Incredibly fast as well. Just bunging it all on screen there for you. And again, this was released in 1988. So let's see how well this game's aged, shall we? Because another, probably one of the more famous points about this game is it is actually surprisingly hard. Even though you're a robot, in the movie, he seems to just seemingly take on numerous foes. You can be killed off surprisingly quickly in this game. And finally, we have a game. But there's no denying it, this game is fun to play. Okay, first abnormality. Do you remember a three-way play game in the movie? Because I definitely don't. I have no recollection of a ray gun in the game. At all. Not even Ed 209 had one of those. Okay, my health's already two thirds down. Wow, and we have a boss. Wow, did not see that coming. Ed 209, only just referenced him. I did not see him arriving this early in the game. He had a touch of the last boss about him, to be honest. Wow, he was a lot easier in this Thank than he seemed in the movie. There you go, one round clear, and we have a time limit, I'll be honest. This has been one of the easiest games I've ever played on this channel. Um, maybe it won't stick out that far, let's have a look. So, okay, so we're ready for level number two. Here we are, back in Detroit. You are now, under arrest. Again, I don't know if this still follows the plot of the original movie. Here we have the hostage situation. Oh no, shouldn't have killed her. That cost me a lot of health. I mean, biologically and mechanically unsound. But, there is a lot of enemies on screen there. Okay, and we have another strange, unusual... Whoa, that was quick. Okay, so apparently one credit only gives you one life. But I've made it onto the scoreboard, which isn't terrible, is it? Given that they've all got 0-0. Zero, zero. But you know what? Let's get back into the game. What does the game do? Okay, it does put me back in exactly where I left off. It's a nice touch, nice touch. 
<laughs> but no, this is a very playable game. Oh, um, I, this is, you know, for its era, very, very playable. Um, they, the sound effects are very, very good. They resonate very, very well. I'm not sure about those power-ups. They feel a bit inconsistent. You are under arrest. Hopefully this time I won't kill this poor chick. <laughs> wow, that was... Nothing, not even a power-up. Okay. Don't get me wrong, I know it's a, the duty itself and it should be reward enough, but... I'll be honest, a little bit ungrateful. Particularly when I've nearly died from a motorbike. Oh no, we've got the crazy oh, one gun again. Oh, things are not going well. I fear we may be seeing another life being used. Oh, we have another boss. This game is supremely fast. Well, this is the end of level two. How many levels must this game have? You are under arrest. You are under arrest. Also, I don't want to tell the developers what they're doing, but they arrest. used up Ed 209 and the first level of the game. That's a waste of a good license, isn't it? Let's carry on. And there we are. Killed off level two. I'll be honest, I'm not doing too bad. Don't get me wrong, it's cost me two credits, but you know what? How about let's discuss some facts. We always discuss the facts here at Robbie's Arcade. So, Robocop 1, the arcade game, is the first of many. There were different variations out there, and the game was ported to numerous consoles. It was released in 1988, utilising uh, Data East, uh, sorry, developers were Data East, and it was utilising their own 8-bit arcade machine, the Data East machine. Now, Numerous versions, as I say, uh, came to home and video game consoles. Most of them were handled by the company Ocean, who made, let's just say, a few mistakes over the years. Um, um, unlike the other versions, the Commodore 64, the Amstrad, and the ZX Spectrum, uh, the ZX Spectrum, Spectrum, good lord, that was awful, um, only loosely followed this arcade version. They went completely different, both in terms of graphics, levels, bosses, in fact, in some cases, they had different musics and removed the bosses entirely and replaced all of them with the hostage, situ hostage situation that you just saw. Um, on top of that, the Commodore 64 version was notorious for horrendously large numbers of bugs. It was probably one of the buggiest games you'll ever see. Do check out Guru Larry's channel on the five most broken games ever made, in made intentionally, uh, because Robocop is on that list. Um, it is based on the 1987 action movie, and even though the movie was released in 1987, the game wasn't released until over a year later. So they clearly waited to see how quick, how well the movie was going to do before the game. To me, no brainer. A movie like that was always going to have a video game, and the game itself was developed in just under 12 weeks. Uh, the theme for the music um, was actually on the Game Boy version was re-released in numerous versions. They resold the music from the Game Boy version of Robocop. And it was used for a commercial for artisan washing machines in the United Kingdom. On top of that, it was then covered by Chef Bourdais for his video uh, on YouTube. And the cover version was then used as a sample by Lil B in the song, AKA Based God. And the track itself was known as Down Bad. So the music from this has been recycled in a, new, in a large number of ways. Um, and finally, going back to that godforsaken Commodore 64 version, one of the biggest known facts about uh, Robocop, the video game, the Commodore 64 version was made intentionally broken. Once again, Guru Larry, do check out his video. Um, not only because the graphics are broken later in the game, but to stop people discovering those broken graphics later on in the game, um, they actually made one of the levels impossible to complete. There was a time limit that even if you walked flat out ignoring all enemies with unlimited lives and no health damage taken, unlimited credits, you couldn't finish the level. It was impossible. Luckily, that didn't make it to the arcade version. It was just a console version, and there are ways around it uh, using wall glitches and stuff, and that's how people found out about the broken later levels in the game. But let's return back to Robocop the game, shall we? Because I'll be honest, I'm starting to feel it. This has been one of the funniest games I've played for a long time on Robbie's Arcade. Oh, shooting practice, so we have a bonus stage. Okay, why not? This is quite a nice touch.
Let's hope I get something good for this. No, this is a very well put together bonus stage, I'll be honest, I really like this. Oh, time's over. So how do we do? 94%, I'll be honest. Nice. Speed that up, shall we, and get back into the That was quite a harsh noise, wasn't it? Okay, and we get some energy back, so I'll be honest, this is quite a well-designed game. We're getting some stuff back from the game. We're, it's not too difficult, but it's difficult enough. What? The what? So much going on already. I'm getting a bit tired of dropping, being said. Okay, did not know we're on a conveyor belt. That can serve to be made a little clearer. Okay. Whoa. Are these just pieces of metal? They, that is a oddly poor design, I'll be honest. Okay, we have someone using the super power gun. Do we get to use that? Okay, I am a fan of this. Okay, but jetpack people, no recollection of that in Robocop. Sorry guys, you let me down on that one. Okay, have I broken a lift? Let's find out. Apparently so. Oh no, you have to manually do it, not bad. Let's find out. Will the game let me make this jump? There we are, we got ourselves an item. Pretty sure that would have taken that chick's clean off. It would have taken her face off at the neck. I don't think I've killed a single one of those bikers so far. Carry on. Are we going to face a boss crazy early again? Okay, it's the other one. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. Okay, so one down, one to go. Although I'm slightly worried about that energy bar, given that... Oh wow, we've done it. That's three bosses down. This is probably the most successful Robbie's Arcade video we've seen yet. Okay, so we've made it through that. Let's see what level four's got in, all, in store for us, shall we? Who the hell's this guy? Can't kill him. I got you. Take me to the... You saw him walk towards me, right? I think it's important that we highlight he came to me. You saw that. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh no, life over. Do you know what? Let's give it one last credit, shall we? But we're at the top. Robbie's on the top. Don't know who those other guys are, and they're probably AI created, but... We're, we're batting average of one credit per level. So that now, this is the broken level, I believe. Have a look. They may be playing a bit fast and loose here. Oh. Oh, no. See, things are getting worse now. Things are not going well. Let's find out. Still going to give it one last go. Maybe we can get a total playthrough out of it. We're getting there, we're getting there. Right, we're at the top. Okay, let's... Not a hugely sure what's going on here. Okay, we're rapidly tapping the buttons and getting nowhere. I'll be honest, if I'd been in the arcade and that happened to me, 
I'd have been absolutely furious. That was cheaper than Tweety Pie, my god. Okay, we have the ridiculous gun. Let's see if we can keep hold of this to a boss, shall we? Okay, here we go. Okay, so apparently you defeat that by tapping forward a lot. Call me crazy, that does not seem intuitive to me. Six rounds for a potential boss. Oh, no, we lost another life. But you know what? Now we're seeing this through to the bitter end. This video is going to be the one where I dip this game. That's happening. Right. You are under arrest. But I did lose my nice big gun, which is a bit annoying. Not the first time I've said that. Time for another boss. Right. You are under arrest. Okay, unless under that is the yeah. villain, I'm not quite certain. You are that under arrest. Oh no, can't that. Oh no. There we go, got there in the end. I believe we've just killed off level 4. I'll be honest, I'm Thank mildly impressed with this game so far. The only faults I find with it so far is a lack, a lack of consistency to the movie. 2, Ed 209, first boss. What were you thinking? Oh, here we go. Another shooting practice session. Let's give it a go. Wait. Let's have a look. To be honest, look at that energy bar. I could do with this. I need this badly. Where's the roof stuff? Six, five, four. Oh, what did we get? Today's ranking, 97%. Not too shabby, let's be honest. Oh, that noise. How fierce is that noise? I'll be honest, I'm going to be playing Robocop 2, the arcade game, soon enough. I'm looking forward to seeing how that pans out. Look at that beautiful energy bar. Wonderful. Right. Omni headquarters. So, here we are. We're at the headquarters. Um, again, we're just going to pretend that... Whoa, what happened to the energy bar? Well, that was disappointing in the extreme, wasn't it? go through here well there you go that was the end of Robocop the arcade game we got so close didn't we well if you're interested in finding more about the wonderful world of arcade Robocop then do visit me Robbie Ar Robbie's Arcade and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video click like and lastly if you've got any recommendations do pop them down there in the comments lastly I'm going to be doing Robocop 2 the arcade game very very soon indeed so do check that out and we'll see how these two games compare but otherwise thank you so much for watching